So back to what is Texas law and when it comes to the issue of dividing marital assets and liabilities, that's what we call debts. And is it 50-50? The perception is that it is a 50-50 state and there's reasons for that. But the reality is what our legislatures, legislators, excuse me, have written is a, is a set of codes. That's what we call our state laws, the Texas Family Code, that require the, the courts to do a division that is just and right. And not only is it just and right, but it needs to be just and right in regards to the rights of the parties and the children of the parties. So it's not exactly a 50-50 state. And although many times it is a no-fault divorce and things proceed along with a 50-50 mindset just to let the parties not blame each other, let the parties divide their assets in a just and right manner, and just and right is frequently 50-50, but not always. So there are factors that can influence and impact the division of property rights. And I'm gonna get into that later in this video series, but just so the, that you, the viewers are aware, Texas isn't just a straight 50-50 property division state. So that just and right division could be just and right in one county and could be not just and right in a different county. I mean, a lot of that just and right division, that perception will be dependent on what county you're litigating in, uh, what county your divorce is pending, and what the and what the particular judge or juries might do or not do in those counties. And there are other factors which I'll dive, dive, do a deep dive on here in a minute. But a lot of those have to do with what behavior of the one party is there fault, is there alcohol abuse, is there a wasting of marital assets on inappropriate things, is there physical violence, family violence? Or